But we begin tonight with those 60 seconds of terror inside a pharmacy. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. This entire ordeal was caught on camera. No, on the floor. No, no, no. On the floor. On the floor. The masked robbers demanded narcotics and ordered everyone to the floor. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is in Nasser Pharmacy in Dearborn, where the owner walked him through those terrifying moments. From the moment robbers hopped over this counter to the moment those crooks left. Workers here at this pharmacy faced just over a minute of terror that felt like an eternity. No, on the floor, no, 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 on the floor, on the floor. One minute and seven seconds of masked men yelling demands and pillaging through Nasser's pharmacy in Dearborn. What's going through your mind as this is happening? I have to like, you know, just give them whatever they want because I don't know what their, you know, what their intention is. You can't risk anything, you know, make a mistake and lose your life for something stupid, you know. Owner, pharmacist Ahmed Nasser tells me when the men initially entered, one acted as if he had a prescription that needed to be filled. Soon, they all hopped the counter. And then they were demanding for like the promethazine with codeine. No, don't move. He said the robbers did not present any weapons, but he didn't want to take any chances. One of my friends, he works like in downtown Durban, they robbed the pharmacy like three weeks ago. He's wondering if it's connected. What it is, I don't know why it's happening in this community and specifically, but there's a lot of pharmacies here and that's probably why. Pharmacist Nadia Hader owns Nadia's Pharmacy on Warren Avenue, also in Dearborn. She says four people burglarized her business last year overnight, but soon learned she doesn't carry controlled substances, as the sign on the door explains. She since put in a security gate. So what did they take? It was all uh, PDLI in children's uh, antibiotics and stuff. Not what they were looking for. They threw it out in the parking lot. Another pharmacist over on Ford Road said they're glad we're doing this story. This morning, I called and later on stopped by the Dearborn Police Department to ask if they're seeing a rise in pharmacy robberies. What exactly thieves want with the drugs to use or sell and also to confirm if a fourth person was caught in Wednesday's robbery. No word back from them yet, but Nasser is taking steps to beef up security, including the installation of this bulletproof glass on Thursday. You know, you're making an honest living, but then you have someone come in and violate. Yeah, that. it's sad reality, you know. If you have any information on any of these robberies, call Dearborn Police. In Dearborn, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Darren, thank you. Some pharmacies are trying out new technology that can outsmart robbers. Their decoy pill bottles. The bottles contain GPS technology that allows police to track its location. They're hidden among the real pill bottles. Now, this technology is already in use by many pharmacies in New York. Sounds Carol? like a smart idea. All right.